I think that building a commitment to truth into your like day-to-day ethical life is one, it's one of the greatest habits that we can work on and it takes work. Here's how it kind of shows up in my life. And I'm not holding myself up as a paradigm of, of, uh, of excellence on this, but you know, think about the, the arguments that you have with people. I can think about a big argument I had with a friend about the COVID vaccines um, a few months ago. And we're sitting there and we're agreeing to have a conversation about it. And I come in, um, you know, come in pretty hot with my smart arguments and really pressuring him to, um, to see things a certain way and really not unrelenting if he doesn't change his mind. And I do really believe that I know something that's important and relevant to the good life on this question. But it went disastrously. You know, we had a big uh, row and, and like, you know, our friendship kind of took a took a beating as a result. I know everybody's going through this with people in their lives right now. If it's not if it's not public health, it's politics or it's about religion or some fraught topic. And one of the things I realized is the temptation is to blame the person who disagrees with you in these encounters when you have them. Just say, like, well, if he was more open minded um, or if he'd been willing to care about the truth, then this wouldn't have happened. And I think being somebody that claims to really care about the truth, you also have to take some responsibility for your role in making the truth present in these really difficult circumstances. And some things might be over our head. Like you just might not be in a situation where you're able to reach across the political divide right now and engage constructively with somebody really different to you. But there are lots of times where we could try a little bit harder. One thing I could have done in that conversation is just genuinely try to listen and understand what mattered most to him before I came in trying to control what his views would be, Uh, to care about like him and the things that he might already know about this topic, even if I ultimately disagree, to want to know that about the particular person that I'm engaging with before I get into the big ethical, political, public health debate. And so I think one of the things that concern for the truth, one of the ways this can can show up in our daily life is by uh, willing to be curious about things that we're not always given the social signals or the personal confidence to be curious about. Being curious about people who are looking at the world really differently to you while realizing that you still might strongly disagree with them at the end of it, this is something that can be cultivated. And we know some people who are way better at it than other people. I think philosophy professors tend to not be very good at this skill because we're so great at argument and rhetoric and so confident, But, but we could get better at it. And it's a way of serving others, but it also is a way of honoring your your concern for the truth, just in a, in a kind of sophisticated and long-term way. 